Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today I will show you guys how to enable some amazing new features on your iOS 18 device by utilizing some of the settings that are actually kind of hidden within the settings app. So, you know, there are a lot of options on the settings app, a lot of menus, a lot of sub menus, and it's actually sometimes quite hard to find some settings which are actually pretty useful. So in today's video, I will show you guys how to enable 12 hidden features using some secret settings of the new iOS 18. The first hidden feature that you can enable will be found under the accessibility settings. So you go here and then go to touch and then go to assistive touch. Now scroll down here and you will find something called sound actions. Now under sound actions, you will find a few different sounds that you can use to perform different actions. Now, first of all, you can go ahead and set up a sound here. So let's just go ahead and try something out here. Let's go with this sound and we can choose what we want to do here. Let's select home. So let's, when you do this sound, it goes to the home screen. You can do things like launch the camera or take a screenshot or maybe using any of the accessibility features or then you will have also the scroll options right here. So here we have the sound. Let's go ahead and practice it. La. And as you can see, just like that, it does work. So whenever I say la, it should go to the home screen. La. How cool is that? You can perform any of those actions using any of those simple sounds. Next up, we're talking about the keyboard. Again, go under accessibility and then find the keyboard option right here. So then we have keyboard and, uh, keyboard options right there. And we have here hover typing. Now with hover typing, you can enable it right here and you will have a ton of different options. So what it does, it bas basically shows you a zoomed version of what you're typing. So here's what I'm talking about. So here we have the keyboard and it should show it right there. So of course it will zoom in so you can see better what you're typing on your keyboard. How cool is that? And you can even customize this so you will have a ton of different options. You can choose where it will display inline dock to the keyboard or at the top of your screen and then you will have the text color insert point color background color and the border color as well you can customize any of those as you know, Apple is always working on protecting the privacy of their users. Now here we have a feature called private Wi-Fi address, and this was here before, but now it has a new option you can enable. Instead of just having a fixed private Wi-Fi address, now you can enable rotating, and this is much, much better. It will change with time, so you will always have a new private Wi-Fi address. Now with iOS 18, you probably know that Apple has added a new passwords app. So head on to your settings, go under general, and then go right here under autofill and passwords. Now what you can do here is set up your codes to be saved on the new passwords app. So you know that every time Apple does an app like this, they actually do it really well. So you want to use it for your device, set up codes and you tap right there. It will show you the options of the apps that you do have installed on your iPhone, select password, and then your codes will be set up on the new passwords app of iOS 18. And just right here on the general settings, go back and then head on to the keyboard settings. Now, when you go to the keyboard settings, you need to enable a feature which is really useful. It is called math results. So you enable it right here. And whenever you're just typing something, trying to calculate something with your keyboard, it will actually show you the results on the predictive text field. So you don't have to do that through the calculator app. You can do like anything, any math directly from your keyboard. And while you're here at the keyboards, you can do this, which is pretty awesome. Go to add a new keyboard and then choose a different language that you might use. And basically you have one main language, then maybe you use another one sometimes. You can go ahead and just choose that. So there we have Spanish and now I can just add it to the English keyboard. So I can have both languages on one keyboard. I don't have to have two of them and switch between one another. I just have one and you can see right there, it will actually say English and Spanish. So I have both languages on the same keyboard and it will switch dynamically based on which language I'm typing. 
Moving on to the app section here under the settings app. So head on to apps and move down here to the weather app, go to weather and right here you will have the ability for the weather app to show you both locations for your home and work. So basically with the weather app, you only get one location for your your location basically for your home, but now you can have both of them for your work and home so you can see the weather for both at the same time. Moving on to the map settings right here. Now we have a pretty cool new feature here that will allow you to have your maps synced to your Apple Watch. So you know, since I was 17, you can now finally download maps so that you can use them offline. And now you can also sync them to your Apple Watch. Make sure you have this enabled and then all the maps that you have downloaded will also be synced directly to your Apple Watch. Under the mail settings here, we have a pretty cool new feature, even though for a lot of users, they will still have to wait a few weeks to get this feature. So it's basically a feature with iOS 18.1 that allows you to summarize your emails. So you enable it right here. It's called summarize message preview. So the message preview that you get those two or three lines, whichever one you choose right here, will be automatically summarized by AI simply by enabling it here. Again, go to the mail settings under the app section. Now, another one you really need to enable, this will enable a very useful feature on the passwords app is the ability for your passwords app to detect compromised passwords. So right here's the feature, you enable it and if any of your passwords have been leaked or compromised, it will alert you, it will show you them under a section on the passwords app, which shows you all the compromised passwords. And of course you must take actions and always make sure that you change those passwords. And last but not least, we're on the photo section right here. So under the app section, go to photo settings and you will have this feature here, which will enhance your visual search for your photos app. So right here, it describes basically what it does, but it will help the photos app better understand the photos, the landmarks, whatever you have there in your pictures and allow you to easier find anything that you're trying to find on your photos app. So that's basically it for this video guys. This is how you can enable these 12 amazing new features on your iOS 18 device, always taking action by enabling them through these settings, which are kind of hidden within the se section of the settings app and it's sometimes really hard to find. So that is it. Hope you guys found it helpful. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to smash that like button and of course subscribe for more videos and I will see you on the next one.